Hello everyone. Welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we are going to learn about the properties of addition. But before we start learning about the properties, let us quickly revise the few important terms which are related to addition. Do you know what are the terms which are used in addition? The numbers which we add are called the addends. The answer which we get after adding the addends is called their sum or total. Here in this example, 5248 and 3211 are the two numbers which we have added together and are the two addends. And the answer which we got after adding these two numbers, that is 8459, is the sum or total. Now let us learn about the different properties of addition. There are three properties of addition. Number one, commutative property of addition. Number two, associative property of addition. And lastly, number three, the identity property of addition. Let us understand the first property of addition, which is known as the commutative property of addition. According to this property, we can add numbers in any order, which means if we change the order of addends, the sum or the answer does not change. Let us understand this property with an example, where we have two numbers, 257 and 541. When we add these two numbers, we get the sum or answer as 798. Now let us interchange the order of the addends and add 541 and 257. We again get the sum as 798. Therefore, 257 plus 541 is equal to 541 plus 257. The above example has clearly showed us that by changing the order of the addends, the sum does not change. This property is also known as the order property of addition. Next, we will understand the second property, which is the associative property of addition. We often use this property while we are adding more than two numbers. According to this property, when three or more numbers are added, their sum remains the same, no matter which two addends are added first. Let us clearly understand this property with an example. So here we have three numbers, 100, 200 and 30. And we have to add them. First, we will add the numbers 100 and 200. And we get the sum as 300. Now we will add 30 to 300 and we get the final sum as 330. Now, using the same set of addends, let us see what answer we get if we first add 230. We get the answer as 230. With this, when we add 100, we get the final sum as 330. Thus, we can clearly see that while adding three numbers or even more than that, there is no change in the sum no matter which two addends are added first. This property is also known as the grouping property of addition. Lastly, we will learn about the third property which is known as the identity property of addition. According to this property, when we add zero to a number, its sum will be the number itself. Let us understand this property with an example. If we add 386 to 0, we get the sum as 386. Or if we add 0 to 386, we get the number itself, that is 386. Here, 0 is said to be the identity element of addition. This property is also known as the zero property of addition. So, we end our today's lesson here as we have understood in details about the properties of addition and we have also revised the terms which are used in addition. If you think you have understood the concept well, 
do give a thumbs up by clicking on the like button. Also, do not forget to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so that you get notifications whenever we post any such educational videos. So keep watching and stay safe.